of Independence Day, we welcome you to Monday Night Raw, where in moments, the Independence Day Battle Royal kicks things off to determine the number one contender for Ilya Dragunov's Intercontinental Championship at Money in the Bank. And speaking of Money in the Bank, in your main event, it is a men's qualifying matchup between the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Both these men back in action for the first time since King of the Ring, but who will advance to July 16th in Columbus, Ohio at Money in the Bank? As we mentioned, we are set to kick things off with the eight man over the top rope, Independence Day Battle Royal. The winner will fight Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship on the 16th of July. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. The multiple men already making their way to the ring, but there is LA Knight who stood toe to toe with Ilya Dragunov. Well, in a sense, two weeks ago, Ilya Dragunov ambushed by LA Knight after he successfully defended the Intercontinental Championship against the man you just saw, the Bruiserweight Butch. LA Knight last week, defeating Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam here on Raw, so momentum on the side of LA Knight coming into this thing, but when you got seven other challengers inside the squared circle with you, it is not gonna be an easy task any way you spin it. Whoever wins this matchup, and moves on to fight Dragunov for the Intercontinental Gold is certainly gonna be a deserving challenger. LA Knight, Butch, Sol, Sokoa, Apollo, Cruz, multiple men of the field already set, but we got some more on the way right here, right now. And from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler well, next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, July the 16th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. It's the 2023 Money in the Bank. And of course, the Monday Night Raw main event for that night, the WWE Championship will be on the line as the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross, looks to bring doomsday upon Matt Riddle and take away the WWE title. And as announced this past weekend, a big change to SmackDown's World Championship matchup. Now a triple threat affair as Drew McIntyre defends the gold against the Apex Predator Randy Orton and the Rated R Superstar Edge. Two massive main events coming your way on the 16th of July. Of course, not one, but two Money in the Bank ladder matches. And the Intercontinental Championship will be defended on that night as well. But who is going to immediately a dragon off? Could very well be Tyler Bate. A man who has fought Dragon off before, and I'm sure would love to run things back and try to take away the championship gold. But the monster is back on Raw! And from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Well, it's been over two months since the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, made his way down the aisle. But Braun is back tonight, and he is hell-bent on becoming the new number one contender. And Ilya Dragunov, one of the hardest hitters, and dare I say, one of the toughest superstars in the Monday Night Raw locker room. But I don't know how Dragunov would be able to keep down somebody who is twice the size of him, and certainly would be determined to leave Columbus as the Intercontinental Champion. But first things first, Braun's gotta get through the Battle Royal. And you gotta believe that Braun Strowman making his return tonight, and certainly being the biggest man of the match, makes him the favorite to become the number one contender. Or could be this man. And their opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy. Well, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens always the center of controversy here on Monday Night Raw. And even though their pursuit to take down Matt Riddle did not go as planned, both of them with an opportunity at hand here tonight. Kevin Owens will be back in the squared circle later on to try to punch his ticket to the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And as for Sami Zayn, could possibly be on his way to challenging for a championship he has held in the past, the Intercontinental title. We'll never hear the end of it from the KO and Sammy show. Those two men can walk away with victories tonight here at Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. 
We are set for your Independence Day Battle Royal. Eight men, only one will be left standing, and that man is on their way to Money in the Bank. Let's set the stage here. Cedric Alexander, Tommaso Champ, or excuse me, Cedric Alexander, Tyler Bate, Apollo Cruz, Braun Strowman, L.A. Knight, Sami Zayn, Butch, and Solo Sokoa. Those are your eight men here in this Battle Royal before our very eyes. So much great talent and a lot of men who have been searching for opportunity the last few months on Raw. I mean, we have seen Butch, Apollo Crews, Tyler Bate, three men who have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship and it has not worked out in their favor. But maybe a second chance is what those men need. As for Solo Sokoa, that man lost to Tommaso Ciampa just two weeks ago here on the Red Brand and a Money in the Bank qualifier. I'm sure Solo fired up after that. Now looking to see another opportunity pass through his fingers tonight. Oh, oh and I taken out Cedric Alexander. Let's talk about Alexander for a, a moment here. That is a man who has been on the up and up on Raw for months here, but has really just been searching for the opportunity to really capitalize and take him to the next level. Maybe winning this battle royal and finally getting a chance at championship gold yet again is what Alexander needs. All remains to be seen. Battle royals are tough. You gotta watch your back. Any, at any moment, somebody can come from behind and throw you over. It's not going to be an easy task. But the last man standing, the sole survivor of this matchup, will have their date with Destiny on the 16th. I'm sure Ilya Dragunov is back in the locker room, awaiting patiently who he is going to fight at Money in the Bank. Looking at a ring full of hungry challengers and possible men that could take the championship away from Ilya Dragunov. The title is, that he has held since WrestleMania Saturday back in February. Just look at Braun Strowman, almost the only man standing for a moment there, towering among a lot of the superstars inside of that ring. Sol Sokoa. Or possibly maybe the second strongest man in this match. Oh, you got Apollo Crews as well, so. Might not be a bad idea for some of these superstars to try to team up and take out Braun, because I don't know if Braun Strowman has, be, has been taken off his feet for more than a second in this battle royal so far. Bunch of carnage left and right, bodies laying on the canvas, but you gotta throw your opponent over the top rope. Those feet gotta hit the floor to determine elimination here. And Braun Strowman with the running power slam on Butch. Braun back here tonight, as we mentioned, for the first time in over two months on Raw. And he is looking to make an impact. Remind everyone who just one of the dangerous superstars on Raw is today. Tyler Bate trying to take his fight to Braun Strowman. That's a man who shocked the world when he tapped out Sami Zayn in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Unfortunately, he fell to Shinsuke Nakamura in the second round, but Tyler Bate making some waves here recently on Raw. Sami Zayn, speaking to him, the Michinuku driver on the Bruiserweight. Again, just two weeks ago, went one-on-one, stood toe-to-toe in a WrestleMania rematch, long-awaited. For Butch against Ilya Dragunov, unfortunately coming up short in that affair. And the third time will be the charm for the Bruiserweight. He can punch his ticket, meet Dragunov on the 16th in Columbus, Ohio. Maybe Butch will put it together and finally be able to keep down the Invincible One and take away the Intercontinental title. Championship he has held twice before. I'm sure he's looking for the 3 P. And there you hear it, there you see it. The first casualty of the matchup, Solo Sokoa eliminating the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. We are down to seven in a matter of a snap of the fingers. Solo Sokoa, as we mentioned, he fell to Tommaso Ciampa just two weeks ago. He even struck the referee after in frustration. From what we understand, Solo Sokoa suffered a fine because of it. He's back inside the squared circle tonight and he has motivated us all hell. Wait a minute, look at Butch. Down goes Sami Zayn off the bitter end, and down does Apollo Crews. LA Knight eliminating Apollo Crews, bringing our field to just six superstars. Apollo's been hungry for opportunity. Him and Cedric Alexander had a couple of battles. Crews went one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov at Raw Homecoming just three weeks ago, but unfortunately, Crews will not be running it back against Dragunov anytime soon. We're down to six as Alexander take it out. Oh, wait a minute! Has been eliminated. Game, set, match, point. Solo Sokoa making an impact. His second elimination as he super kicks Braun Strowman up and out of the ring.
That is a huge elimination. Solo Sokoa making some waves here in this battle royal, taking care of the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. And just like that, we are down to five. Solo Sokoa, who may be on his way out right now, thanks to the great liberator, Sami Zayn. We got Butch, we got LA Knight, we got Cedric Alexander. Five men, but only one opportunity at stake. Solo able to survive Sami Zayn there. And Solo is able to eliminate Braun Strowman. Gotta believe he's got it in him to eliminate anybody in this matchup. Everyone trying to get the elimination there, but there goes Solo! Sami Zayn catching him off balance and knocking him over the top rope. And the street champ is hitting the showers. We are down to four men. LA Knight, Butch, Cedric Alexander, and Sami Zayn. LA Knight laid out Ilya Dragunov two weeks ago. Butch wants round number three. Will the third time be a charm if Butch can challenge Dragunov? Cedric Alexander hungry for opportunity for months here on Raw. And I was about to lay the credentials down for Sami Zayn, but he was up and over the top rope before we could even catch our breath. Cedric Alexander, huge elimination, eliminating Sami Zayn. At least one half of the KO and Sami show, their opportunity goes up in smoke. We now are down to three men, and make that two! Butch is gone, and we are down to LA Knight and Cedric Alexander. Alexander has been chomping at the bit for the opportunity that's gonna take him to the next level. LA Knight catching him with that right hand. And here goes Cedric Alexander! And we have your number one contender, L.A. Knight! Well, I'm sure Dragunov is grinning from ear to ear knowing payback is a coming. The man who laid him out two weeks ago will be the man who stands across the ring from him in less than two weeks in Columbus, Ohio. Well, we said if Sami Zayn won this match, we'd never hear the end of it, but I think we could say the same about L.A. Knight, as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov on the 16th of July at our next live premiere event, Money in the Bank. Could we be looking at the next Intercontinental Champion in L.A. Knight? Yeah! We are back live here in Detroit on Monday Night Raw, and Zia Lee set for action against the number one contender to the WWE Women's Championship, Liv Morgan. And a little bit of history between these two women as of late, we will touch on in just a matter of moments. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Well, Liv Morgan has a chance at redemption. They are running things back. In less than two weeks at Money in the Bank, it's the King of the Ring rematch for the WWE Women's Championship. The new champ, Shayna Baszler, defends the gold against Liv Morgan one-on-one -on -one at Money in the Bank. We talked about some recent history between Liv Morgan and Zia Lee, and it dates all the way back to the lead-up to Vengeance back in May. You remember Liv Morgan won an over-the-top rope battle royal to challenge Asuka for the Women's Championship back in May at Vengeance. The final three women in that battle royal, Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, and Zia Lee. And I'm sure Zia Lee has not forgotten about being thrown by the wayside and watching Liv Morgan capitalize on that opportunity. Fired up Zia Lee tonight with an opportunity in her own right. She can take down the number one contender. You gotta believe Zaya's gonna be in line for a future championship matchup. And as for Liv Morgan, she needs all the momentum she can get. Tapped out not once, but twice in a matter of one week to Shayna Baszler. First at Raw Homecoming, and then of course at King of the Ring. And handing Shayna Baszler the WWE Women's Championship. And Liv Morgan, as she said on Twitter last week, not going to stay down. She is coming for redemption on the 16th at Money in the Bank. Liv Morgan looking to become the Women's Champion yet again, and it is certainly not going to be an easy task. Shayna Baszler already with a successful championship defense under her belt. And she defended the tall. Wait a minute here. Liv Morgan going for the win. Not just yet. 
successfully defended the title against a returning Candice LeRae, I'll bite by count out victory. But nonetheless, Baszler still walked away as the champion. Well, the next championship defense set and Liv Morgan looking to right the wrong of King of the Ring just a few weeks ago. Zaya Lee on the outside, Liv Morgan. House of Fire right now, beautiful maneuver off the apron. Huda Conrana and down goes Zaya Lee. It is much needed momentum that is on the line for Liv tonight. She cannot fall to Zaya Lee in the lead up to her matchup with Shayna Baszler. Oh, and a nice counter strike. A nice counter by Liv, sidestepped her and hit the drop kick right to the spine of the opposer. Liv Morgan has got to be fired up. She's got to stay focused. She's got to be motivated. I'm sure she is in her head quite a bit after tapping out the Shayna at Raw Homecoming and King of the Ring, but she cannot let those losses play into her psyche. And right now, Liv is looking laser focused. The Jersey code breaker had almost had her, but Zia Lee gets the shoulder up. Close call by the number one contender. Zia Lee. Tough as nails, surviving that Jersey code breaker. And now Liv Morgan looking to keep the pedal to the metal. And will Zaya be able to fight back here tonight in Detroit? She's looking dazed, she's looking confused. Liv Morgan's got to capitalize right now on a weakened opponent. On the flip side, if Zaya's going to get back into this, it's now or never. But right now, Liv Morgan taking a page out of her former tag team, or I should say sometime tag team partner, Alexa Bliss's game plan. And down goes Zia Lee. Face first, face plant, into the cover. And that'll do it. Momentum on the side of Liv Morgan. But the question will remain, is Liv Morgan going to be able to carry that momentum into the nationwide arena in less than two weeks? And will she be able to take back the women's championship from the queen of spades? Here is your winner, Liv well, it's one thing to get your hand raised. It's a whole other thing to do it again. But will Liv Morgan be able to keep the momentum riding high and become women's champion for another time on the 16th of July at Money in the Bank? Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues tonight in Detroit as one half of the World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest reigniting the rivalry with the Street Profits as he meets Montez Ford in singles action. And on the other side of things, Happy Corbin, can he turn around his luck as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Cameron Grimes here tonight in Detroit? And the results of those contests, Montez Ford picking up a much needed victory for the Street Profits, defeating Damian Priest and that very well could have just catapulted the Street Profits to number one contendership in the tag team division. More on that story to come, but as for the flip side, Cameron Grimes making the bad luck of Corbin continue with a victory here tonight on Raw. We're back inside Little Caesars Arena, Detroit, Michigan. Been rocking all night long on the eve of Independence Day. Monday Night Raw continues as Rick Boogs is set for action. For well, the opponent, one of the hottest superstars on the red brand today. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo. Well, Carmelo Hayes, originally the recruit of Montel Vontavious Porter, but it looks like Carmelo has also recruited his old friend from NXT, that being Trick Williams. And this trio making their way down the aisle tonight. As if Carmelo and MVP weren't already a dangerous combination, you add in the athleticism and experience that Carmelo and Trick Williams have together. Oh, man, this is going to be a force to be reckoned with here on Monday Night Raw. And Carmelo himself has already been that. 
He has not lost a matchup undefeated thus far. Victories over Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, but tonight he's got the strength and the size of Rick Boogs, who's looking to steamroll over Carmelo Hayes and start building some momentum for himself here on Monday Night Raw. All remains to be seen as we talk about all the time. It's about getting your hand raised. You want the championship matches. You want the big money. You want the main event. You got to get your hand raised from bell to bell. So far, Carmelo Hayes is doing just that, but not if that offense keeps up. Rick Boogs came to Detroit tonight with a mission, and he's looking to execute it to perfection. Carmelo with, of course, the speed and agility. Rick Boogs with the size and strength. What attributes will be able to outpower the other and help the victor in his victory tonight? Melo Hayes trying to get back into the springboard. Beautiful maneuver. Cross body takes down Rick Boogs and Carmelo Hayes, man. So athletic inside of that ring and also so unique. Unique, excuse me. There's just something about the emphasis, something about the delivery of Carmelo Hayes inside of that ring on each and every maneuver that makes this young man special. Whether you like his cocky attitude or not, whether you like the guidance of MVP at ringside, now with Trick Williams as well, Carmelo Hayes is going to be a future star here on Monday Night Raw if he isn't already. Rick Boogs is finding that out firsthand. He came out of House of Fire, but Carmelo Hayes quickly flipping the switch, and down goes Boogs again. Ricks is just trying to get his... Wits about him right now, and a double knees, down goes Boogs. Into the cover, and that's gonna be all she wrote. Oh wait, not just yet as Rick Boogs gets the shoulder up. Can't count out Rick Boogs. Gonna have a big potential future here on Raw if he can get the W, but Carmelo Hayes has got other plans. Leaping through the sky, and a delivery on that leg drop like no other. Thanks for coming. Rick Boogs, another victory in the column for Carmelo Hayes. MVP certainly recruited a man with a ton of potential and a man who is going to be the future of Monday Night Raw. MVP's got to feel good about this recent acquisition. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Well, momentum is a word that we talk about all the time, and momentum is certainly on the side of Carmelo Hayes. Another victory tonight on the eve of Independence Day here in Detroit on Monday Night Raw. Well, just signed for next week on Raw, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, looks to continue to climb the ranks on the red brand as he meets the number one contender for the WWE Championship, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, less than two weeks, money in the bank from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for what will be one of the biggest events of the WWE calendar. And already signed for Money in the Bank, the Raw main event, the WWE Championship is on the line. Is Karrion Cross about to bring Doomsday to the championship reign of the Stallion, Matt Riddle? And as for Friday Night SmackDown's main event, the World Heavyweight title up for grabs in a triple threat affair. The Rated R Superstar Edge, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, the Scottish Warrior, and most importantly, the defending champion, Drew McIntyre. Is a rematch from the King of the Ring pay-per-view. Shayna Baszler tapped out Liv Morgan just a few weeks ago in Philadelphia, and she's looking to run things back in Columbus, Ohio. But will Liv be able to seek redemption and become champion yet again? LA Knight becoming the number one contender earlier this evening. He will meet Ilya Dragunov when the Intercontinental Championship is on the line at Money in the Bank. And speaking of Money in the Bank, now one but two ladder matches. We will kick things off with the women. Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Mi Chin Mia Yim, Becky Lynch, Io Sky, and Raquel Rodriguez with the opportunity hanging high in the sky. And a few men already signed for the six-man ladder matchup. Seth Rollins and Tommaso Ciampa from Raw, Braun Breaker and Ricochet from Friday Night SmackDown. But who is going to join these men in Columbus, Ohio? The final Monday Night Raw spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup is on the line as it is main event time here in Detroit. And for the first time since King of the Ring, 
the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, is back in action and looking to capitalize on a brand new opportunity in less than two weeks in Columbus, Ohio at Money in the Bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, Shinsuke Nakamura was oh so close from punching his ticket to meeting the WWE Champion in the main event of SummerSlam, unfortunately falling short in the King of the Ring Finals to Friday Night SmackDown's Austin Theory. But what a performance it was just a few weeks ago in Philadelphia for Shinsuke Nakamura outlasting Seth Rollins in the semifinals and tearing down the house with Austin Theory just later on that evening. Now a new opportunity presenting itself. Nakamura not able to capitalize and become the king of the ring. But if he can get through Kevin Owens tonight, Nakamura's got a chance to pull down the briefcase and guarantee himself a championship opportunity anytime, any place for up to one year. But this man, Kevin Owens, looking to capitalize on that same situation, the prize fighter seeking redemption for his loss at King of the Ring. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. We talked about it earlier tonight, but the KO and Sammy show falling short in their pursuit to take away Matt Riddle's WWE Championship. Sami Zayn not able to capitalize and become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship that kicked off tonight here on Raw. But now Kevin Owens back in action for the first time since King of the Ring. And back in the main event where he meets a familiar foe in Shinsuke Nakamura. And Kevin Owens been chomping at the bit to hold championship gold. He may have fell short to Matt Riddle at King of the Ring, but as we just mentioned for Nakamura, if he can qualify for Money in the Bank, he's got a chance to take down the briefcase, and the prize fighter can guarantee himself a shot at the ultimate prize anytime he so chooses. And here we go with your main event live from Little Caesars Arena, D-Town, Detroit, Michigan. Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura, 1v1. And Owens not wasting any time. Neck breaker on Nakamura, sending him for a ride down to the canvas. As you just saw moments ago, already signed four of the six men in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. From Monday Night Raw, Seth freaking Rollins and Tommaso Ciampa. And from Friday Night SmackDown, Braun Breaker and Ricochet. Right here, right now, we're determining the final Monday Night Raw spot between Kevin Owens and Nakamura. This Friday Night on SmackDown will decide who gets the final SmackDown spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match when the Nigerian giant Omos meets the phenomenal AJ Styles. Baby, very interesting affair this Friday night, but right here tonight, Nakamura and Kevin Owens, no strangers to each other. They've had lots of battles over the years, whether it's on Raw, whether it's on SmackDown, but tonight, D-Town plays host to a very pivotal Money in the Bank qualifying match. Nakamura down and out, and Kevin Owens connects with that senton. As we've already mentioned, this is both men's first time back inside the squared circle since grueling contests, and two for that matter, for Nakamura, king of the ring. Multiple weeks sitting on the sidelines. Gotta believe both men are rest up, coming to this match 100% and focused on the new opportunity at hand. And you know, Sami Zayn not at ringside with Kevin Owens. I'm sure he's resting and recuperating after that battle royal earlier tonight where he was in there with some absolute monsters. A Braun Strowman and Sol Sokoa. So Kevin Owens going it alone tonight. Nobody to watch his back. And that's really an interesting situation. And Nakamura better be thanking his lucky stars because remember Sami Zayn has been very helpful in aiding Kevin Owens in victories over the last few months. Well, Sami Zayn, many say, was the reason Kevin Owens even had the opportunity to fight Matt Riddle for the WWE Championship in the first place. Could have very well been John Cena challenging Riddle at King of the Ring, but thanks to KO and Sami Zayn and the numbers game being on their side, Kevin Owens found his way to the WWE Championship match. Right, no Sami Zayn tonight. Kevin Owens going in alone, and Nakamura's got to capitalize on an individual opportunity as Kevin Owens trying to unload on Nakamura, but Shinsuke able to avoid another senton that could have spelled disaster. 
Owens off his feet. Nakamura trying to get back into this matchup. Here comes Shinsuke delivering the knee. Nobody delivers the strikes harder on Monday Night Raw than the king of strong style himself, Shinsuke Nakamura. He saw the king of the ring opportunity go up in smoke just a matter of weeks ago, not looking to feel the same result with the money in the bank spot on the line. Owens avoiding, or I should say Nakamura avoiding the kick again, but not able to avoid those strong style forearms to Shinsuke. But here's Nakamura trying to, trying to take out the legs of the prize fighter. Unloading here, and this is where Nakamura is at his best. Throwing strikes, throwing left, throwing rights with his hands, his arms, his legs. And Owens is feeling the worst of it. And could have been feeling absolutely a gut punch if that three was counted, but Owens able to get the shoulder up. Nakamura going to continue to flick, inflict the punishment on the prize fighter. And another cover off the knee. And he almost had him. Kevin Owens down and out. Shinsuke Nakamura heading to the top rope. Nakamura knows this is not going to be an easy task against the man who took Matt Riddle to the limit just a few weeks ago. Shinsuke's got to pull out everything and anything to try to take down Kevin Owens. Owens catching him in midair and hanging him up on the top rope. And there's the senton that KO was looking for a few minutes ago. Absolutely crushed in the rib cage of Shinsuke Nakamura. But Nakamura now trying to come back. Owens says otherwise. Sending Shinsuke into the corner. And Kevin Owens with the same process of thoughts knows he's going to have to go a little uncharacteristic to get the job done tonight. And the elevated DDT is going to help Kevin Owens do just that. A right hand and down goes Nakamura. Going to the outside trying to catch a breather but Kevin Owens on his tail. Up and over the top rope and down goes the King of Strong Style. Kevin Owens no stranger to taking things to the sky when needed. And he saw the opportunity to crush Nakamura at ringside and he took it. Owens making his way back inside. This, oh, never mind. Off the apron with the senton. Shinsuke down and out. And Kevin Owens could be looking for the count out victory here tonight in Detroit. Nakamura reeling in pain at ringside and Kevin Owens one step closer to... What? Wait a minute! What? Ladies and gentlemen, the Beast Incarnate! Brock Lesnar is in the parking garage and he's ambushing Sami Zayn! We have not seen Brock since he was taken out by Kevin Owens the night after Vengeance back in May. And Lesnar is in the arena, is backstage in Little Caesars, and he's taking out Sami Zayn! Sami Zayn getting caught between a rock and a hard place. Nowhere to run. And an F5 on the concrete. Live from Detroit. The Beast Incarnate is making his way out of the building. Lesnar struck. Kevin, Kevin Owens, I believe, had his eye on the Titantron. He saw everything that just happened, had his back turned, and now Nakamura is back in control of this main event. A shocking turn of events. We have not seen Lesnar since the night after Vengeance. May the 15th, to be exact, Kevin Owens is going to be shaking in his boots. And Nakamura is looking for the kill. Down goes the prize fighter. Business has picked up in your main event. As Lesnar with a hit and run, taking out Sami Zayn, taking out the best friend to Kevin Owens, taking Owens' eye off the ball and fleeing the arena. And Kevin Owens able to kick out, but for how much longer? Lesnar playing the mind games. Lesnar calling his own shot here tonight. And as we mentioned, Owens clearly had his eye on the Titantron. Nakamura came from behind, and now Shinsuke Nakamura continuing the onslaught of Strong Style. And down goes Kevin Owens. Owens is hurt. Nakamura, like a shark in the water right now. Nakamura going in the corner, and I think we know what comes next. King Sasa! Owens lights out. Cover. 
Nakamura's on his way to Columbus, Ohio, to the Nationwide Arena. Money in the bank. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura brings the field to five and finishes off the raw side of the Money in the Bank ladder match. But who will be the final man on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown? We find out this week as AJ Styles takes on Omos this Friday night in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, sending a message calling his shot, and Kevin Owens may rue the day that he decided to try to end the career of Brock Lesnar. Shinsuke Nakamura bouncing back from the King of the Ring loss. And are we looking at the next Mr. Money in the Bank? Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.